Welcome to EPG Patshala. Our module for today is module 17, Networking Systems. The use of computers has become very important in our everyday life. A user works at different places and paces. He uses this data to transfer various information to different computers. But before doing that, he always saves the data. The data that is transferred to other computers are used easily. But at times, it is not possible to transfer or use this data easily. This can be done through the way of transmission media, which helps in networking systems. Networking systems are based on installations, based on network size, based on topology and based on management method. In our module today, we shall see the learning outcomes as what is networking, benefits of networking system and the different types of networking systems. What is networking? Interconnecting a set of computers with each other using transmission media is called a network. With the help of network, the resources and services can be shared. The shared resources can be data, printer, floppy drive, CD drive, fax or modem. The shared services can be a database, a file, a software, etc. All interconnected computer must follow a set of communication rules for transmitting and receiving the data. The rules governing computer communication are called protocols. Every network includes at least two computers, server or client workstation, networking interface card, a connection medium, usually a wire or cable. Although wireless communication between networked computers and peripherals is also possible. Network operating systems, software such as Microsoft Windows 2000, Novell, Netware, Unix and Linux. Benefits of networking system. Networks permit the computers to stay connected. They allow for the easy distribution of information and resources and cooperation linking the devices in other ways. The first importance is connectivity and communication. Networks helps in connection between computer and the person who uses that computer, thus making it easier, faster, effective and reasonable. The second point is data sharing. To share data among a large group of employees at the same time, easily and at a faster speed is done through networking. Hardware sharing. Networks help in easy sharing of hardware devices that is printer, floppy drive, CD drive. This can reduce the cost of using separate resources. Internet access. The internet is itself a vast network. So when at any time one accesses the internet, they are using a network. The significance of the internet is vital in every aspect of the modern culture. Internet access sharing. Small computer systems allow many users to share a single internet connection. Special hardware device permit the bandwidth of the connection to be easily used by various individuals as per their need and let an organization to obtain one high speed connection as a replacement for many of slower connections. Data safety and management. In a business background, a network permits the managers to handle the data of the organization in a further methodical manner. Instead of having the data extend over a lot of small computers in an unorganized manner, the data can be centralized on shared servers. Performance development. 
in some situation a network can be used to develop the general performance of a few applications by allocating the calculation task to different computers on the network. Entertainment Network assets numerous types of games and entertainment. The internet itself proposes many bases of entertainment. Types of networking system based on network installation. Centralized network installation. These types of network have a central computer server connected to all the computers. The central computer known as mainframe computer do the entire work. The other computers are also called as nodes and work as only input or output devices. Distributed network installation. In a distributed network, the processing is done on each node in an individual way. This is because the new personal computers are with higher processing capacity and higher memory. Using the distributed network, more amount of data is processed in less amount of time increasing the efficiency. Collaborative network installation. This is also called as cooperative processing. This type of processing enables the computer in a collaborative manner to share data, resources and services. The computers work in collaboration with each other depending upon the available resources to share. The application gets executed in the network in a more better way. Types of networking system based on network size. A network is an interrelated system that offer communication linkages among the two or more station. Each location is a network in is called as a node. There are diverse electronic communication networks which can be largely classified based on the coverage area. Types of networks LAN that is local area networks. A local area network is a collection of computers linked to each other in a small area. The LAN are located in a building or a campus. LAN has the following characteristics. Data transmit at high rate. The physical area covered by network is restricted. The resources are joined with different methods. A LAN structure consists of many personal computer terminals, but a universal control terminal that controls this network known as the server. WAN Wide Area Network WAN WAN has a larger coverage area. The locations are extremely high in number, hence named as Wide Area Network. WAN can integrate LANs. WAN is able of covering the entire country or state for interactions. The Railway Reservation System airline reservation system are examples of WAN. WAN has the following features. The area enclosed is very big. The data transmit is slow in comparison to LAN. The link media is normally a telephone line to be linked to LAN. MAN, M-A-N, Metropolitan Area Network. The network smaller to WAN and larger to LAN is recognized as MAN. This is a medium size network. And model of MAN is a cable network inside a city. Cable network is getting TV programs from the satellite and it transfer, transfers to numerous users. Internet. The internet is an organization of associated networks that are universal in scale and assist data communication services such as remote login, file transfer, email, world wide web and news groups. With the soaring demand for connectivity, 
the internet has become an interaction highway for millions of users. Intranet With the progress in the internet, many private groups are executing intranets. An intranet is a private network make use of internet type tools but accessible only in that organization. For bigger organizations, an intranet offers an easy means to business information for employees. VPN Virtual Private Network uses a system known as channeling to transmit the data steadily on the internet to a distant access server in your place of work system. Using a VPN assists you economically by using the open internet as a substitute to long distance phone calls to join strongly with your private network. Now, we move on to networks based on management method. Network configuration indicates the process of operating or managing a network by making a decision on the node system. There are two basic design generally found in many organizations. First is peer-to-peer. -peer. In a peer-to-peer -peer network system, each personal computer has the same rights. Each peer directly corresponds to the other peer exclusive of any server and hence it is known as peer-to-peer -peer configuration. The hardware of each peer is nearly standard and equal. Example, Windows 95. Client-server configuration. A client-server configuration involves several clients use the same master personal computer called the server control to offer the services. The client network by asking the server to share resources, access data, etc. The server has a high performance PC in the group and has highest operating speed. Example is Novell Netware. Networks based on topology. A topology is a depiction of the design of a detailed region or area. A network topology is a description of the plan of the region or area enclosed of that work. The layout of interconnections of different elements or nodes of a computer network is a network topology that might be logical or physical. Types of topology. There are five basic topologies in the study of network topology. First one, point-to-point -point topology. Second, bus topology. Third, star topology. Fourth, hybrid topology. And fifth is tree topology. The first one, point-to-point -point network topology. The point-to-point -point network topology is the general form of a typical telephone. It is an everlasting connection linking the two points. The significance of a point-to-point -point topology network is in the ratio to the number of subscribers' prospective pairs. This network helps to link a permanent circuit contained by many switched telecommunication systems. Second one, bus network topology. When the LANs join each node to a single cable of the bus network topology, it is used. A connector links each computer or server to the bus cable. The starting place passes on a signal that travels in both directions and moves through all the machines till it arrives at the projected recipient with the IP address. The data is ignored if the IP address does not match. The third is star network topology. When each network 
host is joined to a central hub in LAN. It is called as star network topology. Each node is linked to the hub with a point to point connection. All the signal moves through the hub that serves as a signal booster. The fourth one is hybrid topology. When two or more topologies are combined, we call it as a hybrid topology. WANs make use of hybrid topologies at time because they join a variety of LAN topologies. The benefit of hybrid topology is that they link different topologies, but they also have a disadvantage of being likely complex to set up and manage the network. The next one, the fifth one is tree network topology. In a tree network topology, the top level of the ladder and the central route is linked to the lower levels of nodes through a point to point link. The second level that are already connected to a central route can be connected to the third level by a point to point link. Hence, we come to the end of this module. As we sum up, this module tells us about the importance of computer in our day to day life. How computers can help in data sharing, information and entertainment and also as a performance enhancement. Internet and computer go hand in hand and the use of computers for different levels for different management processes can be done through the various transmission medium. The various transmission medium helps in the networking system. The networking system based on the transmission medium are on networks based on installations, networks based on topology, networks based on the network size and also based on the management method. These help us to get connected to different computers and access information which helps to make our life more easier. Hence, we can say that networking system becomes very important for our day to day life in using of computers. Thank you.